Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I am Pankaj Chaturvedi, a head and neck cancer surgeon at Tata Memorial Hospital, Mumbai, India. It is a tremendous honor for me to receive this award and I accept it on behalf of all my brave colleagues, especially the tobacco victims who are working to stop the man-made disaster caused by tobacco in India. There are nearly 300 million tobacco users in India and it is equal to nearly the entire population of the USA. Tobacco kills 1 million Indians every year. It is equivalent to 10 packed jumbo jets crashing every day or 10 tsunamis hitting our shores every year. There are more than 200 million smokeless tobacco users in India. In fact, India has earned the dubious distinction of being the mouth cancer capital of the world. I could not be a mute spectator to this never-ending catastrophe. I could no longer sit back and watch how helpless my patients and their families felt. I knew that I could not match the marketing power of the tobacco industry and that I needed to think of a novel approach that is best suited for India. And then we came up with the idea of mobilizing tobacco victims as a face of the anti-tobacco campaign. I also hoped that these victims' personal stories would rock the conscience of the policy makers who have become immune to the usual barrage of statistics, but who must be convinced to take action. This campaign, which came to be known as the Voice of Tobacco Victims campaign, has empowered patients and their families and given them a reason to push forward. The touching story of the cancer victims, their wives and children, their widows or often children melted the stone hearts of formerly stubborn policy makers and has led to unprecedented progress. The Voice of Tobacco Victims campaign in fact took off in October 2011 with funding and technical support from Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids. But we soon realized that we had to do even more to counter the powerful political influence of the tobacco industry. So, I reached out to my cancer specialist colleagues all over India to become active and meet with their local politicians to demand action. This campaign has given them the opportunity to voice their long-held frustration with politicians who were quick to look the other way when confronted with evidence of the role of tobacco industry. My colleagues' involvement has galvanized tobacco control efforts in India and has energized NGOs and key government officials. In just two years, our campaign has achieved results that surpassed our own imagination. We have worked through our courts and state government to ban the sale of gutka. It's a cheap and popular form of smokeless tobacco that is a primary cause of oral cancer epidemic in India. 23 out of India's 28 states and 5 of the 7 union territories have now banned the sale of gutka. We also have got a rise in the tax on tobacco products in 20 states. We are changing policies and also tobacco control scenario in India. But we are also changing the lives of the victims and doctors in our campaign. The cancer patients and their families have received a worthy reason for their tragedies that they faced and some of them have adopted tobacco control as the defining purpose of their existence. My colleagues in cancer treatment have received very gratifying social recognition that has made them addicted to tobacco control. I would like to now thank the Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids for giving me this honor, though there are many more deserving people than me. I sincerely apologize that I am not able to attend the ceremony because of the personal reasons. I had promised my mother that I would accompany her on a pilgrimage and I could not disappoint her. This award has invigorated me and it will motivate those I work with to continue our struggle to save India and save many Indians from dying miserably. I accept this award with great humility on behalf of my colleagues and the tobacco victims in our movement. I would like to take the liberty to dedicate this award to millions of innocent tobacco victims all over the world. We must continue our fight until there are no more victims of tobacco. Thank you again.